Welcome to Stellenbosch. Uh, welcome to Martis. Welcome to Kutzenberg Main Oval, where we have a very interesting clash. Two very strong sides today, the Dolphins versus the Titans. Fantastic day we have. The weather is perfect. A little bit of a breeze. Uh, forecast suggests it will pick up as the day go on. But uh, this should be a cracker. Um, yeah, coming to the tournament, uh, we know we're going into a bio bubble and um, it was quite difficult to adapt to that and uh, to keep keep busy in the few days before the tournament. But uh, really, really buzzing to get onto the field. Um, really enjoy being back on it. Um, enjoy the competitiveness and the, the nature of this game. And uh, it's lovely to be back after such a long quarantine period. And uh, I think the boys are hungry and you're really enjoying it so far. Um, obviously, all the boys have been buzzing to play some cricket again after this pandemic we're in. And yeah, it's been tough in the bio bubble. Obviously, we've had to keep ourselves busy, but I think um, two days ago to get back out into the field, it was really great for the boys. Obviously, we didn't start too well with a loss against the Cobras, but yesterday we had a great win against the Lions, and the boys are really starting to show what we can do, and I'm really looking forward to today. And hopefully we can get a step ahead of the other teams in the tournament and keep everything good going forward. We had the toss earlier. And uh, quite a bit of a surprise. Uh, Titans won it and uh, decided to uh, have the Dolphins bat first. Would you have done that? No, I wouldn't have. It's, it is surprising. It, most teams that have batted first have tended to come out on top. I think runs on the board um, seem to be the order of the play. It's, uh, teams haven't chased very well. They've lost their way in the two games that we've watched here. So I think a slightly surprising move. I don't know what's born out of that. Maybe they feel that they've got uh, the best of the swinging conditions. Maybe the pitch will be a little bit more lively early on and perhaps the Dolphins batting up front isn't as strong as uh, they think they are. And this is gone. He hasn't quite got hold of it. I think they might just try and get two plugs. Oh, Well bowled, well bowled. Missed the off, off stump only just, but beaten for pace. And nowhere near this. Swing there as well. We've seen Yorkers used quite well in this, this tournament already. And it's not just at the death. It's early on. It's taking the batsman by surprise. That was probably about a yard quicker. Just seemed to get through his action a bit more. And had that been straight, I think uh, Taylor would have been on his way. Yeah. This is close. This is close. It's hit him on the full. And that's out. Yes, he's managed to bring the ball back. And the wind is aiding it. Stain, he's been a little bit inconsistent. But when he gets it right... He swings it back, and uh, that's the end of Boast, who really didn't have much of an innings there. Oof. He's nicked him off. Great delivery from Daniels. Taylor coming down the wicket, looking to hit him over the top. But he's nicked off, and he's gone for 13 of 30 balls. Daniels pitching it up, as we said, nipping away just a little bit. And finding the, the outside edge of Banele Sele. He's gone for 13 of 31 balls. I like the look of uh, Young Dai with the ball, particularly in that first game against the Cobras. He got big revs on it. Oh, he's gone with the bouncer. Very well played there by Hatton. He's pulled him in front of square. And it's gone for four runs. Exactly what we said. It's when you, when you do go short, the ball just sits up. As we'll see now, Hat Kutzer going short, Hatton just rocking back and swiveling beautifully and getting it down to mid wicket. Oh, as I say that, they're clipping <laughs> through mid wicket for four. I think you've put the mockers on the I'm, young man. I've yeah, done you've, it twice now. Yeah, you've done it <laughs> twice. You said uh, he's, gone, he's gone short and now he's gone on the pads and Hatton's helped himself to another boundary. It's good when a, a young seam has got stamina. Yeah. Should be able to bowl his 10 on the bounce, yeah? <laughs> In this heat. <laughs> Oof, that's well bowled. Oh, that's another dodgy single. That's well fielded and he's out by a country mile. He's run straight into the bowler who was moving to back the throw up and he's running <laughs> in the direction of the batsman. He's not happy about that. Hatton's not happy Hatton. about that at all, but he's got to go. The years that run out, he's gone. It's a poor single, unfortunately. But it's great work from the Titans fielder, Tarek Hit. You're always going to be in the business. And that's exactly what happened. The Dolphins lose their third wicket. And the main man, Nicholas Hatton, he goes for 22. He's bowled him. He's inside edge that first ball. 
Core ball. Clean ball by Daniels of an inside edge. And the Dolphins in uh, another spot to bother here at 47 for 4 after 12.1 overs. But that's not the way to do it. Through the covers. Don't think it'll get there. Yes, it does. Four. Four added to the total. And we're rolling on to 55 for four. Great cover drive. Oh, and that was gone. That was tight. And that was definitely gone. Again, another run straight to mid-off. They've had about five or six chances now, these Titans. They must be licking their lips thinking, this is too easy. Dyer, he's, he's feeling the pressure. 9 of 27. And Laycock, 10 of 26. So uh, the run's definitely not flowing. Try to pull this one. It was slightly short, and he's pulled it over Madon. And another boundary added to the score. So some momentum starting to gather for the Dolphins. 70 for 4. There's some gaps in the field. Just got to keep busy. Got to keep really light on your feet. Get up and down the crease. He's had a go at this. Not a great shot. And it's... Oh, dear. He's dropped it. I mean, it really... The Titans have really missed an opportunity. Straight to him at off. He seemed to not really pick it up very well. And that's a beauty by Stain. He goes straight through Laycock. Hits the middle stump. And the Dolphins lose their fifth wicket. At 78, really in control here, the Sky Blues at Kutzenberg. And Ethenstein's got this ability, gets in a lot closer to the stumps on this occasion. Any sort of criticism would probably be that Chad needed to look to be hit a lot straighter. The value of pitching the ball up in Stellenbosch. It's the end of Chad Laycock, he's gone for 11, 78 for 5. And I think we've also got a... That's a shot that Midon's up and he takes it on and takes it on quite sweetly. That's gone all the way. That's a, a hefty blow by Young Diet into the a little bit of a breeze that they easier in Stellenbosch. And he's headed onto the bank. That's pulled. That's pulled hard. And I think this one might get to the boundary. It is the long boundary. It is down. It is down and it's over. It's not downwind, it's into the wind. <laughs> Not much turn, pretty pretty safe option. Oh, that's out, I think. Took him right in front. 12 bulb up to Dahl. See it here. He just doesn't go anywhere. It's a timely wicket, that for the Titans. Absolutely. At least it gives your bowler something to have a crack at. It's well played from Dyer. And that's 50. Yeah. We... Uh, been a mature innings, 50 from 75. He's had to come in and weather the storm a little bit, and he's played very nicely. Played nicely with Benkenstein, and that's a good 50. Well played, sir. He's a big part of the strategy. Going over the the long on or the mid off, pardon me, and getting enough on it. They'll be in the game. They'll be in the game, and uh, shots like that will get them way past 200. That's maximum. Pick the length quite well. Dyer and uh, dispatched it for maximum. Uh, batting well together, and that's why I, uh, I say again. Takes him on, takes long on on, and his head is well enough. Maximum six. Well, that answers your question on how Dyer will uh, play. Will he be aggressive? He's just proven to you that he's not afraid to take uh, the fielder on the fence on. Yeah, we mentioned on there earlier. And he's bowled him through the legs. Attempted reverse sweep there from Dyer. I think he's played really well. He kept the Dolphins together at 73 of 98 balls. If it wasn't for him, I think uh, the Dolphins wouldn't be looking at, wouldn't even be thinking about a score of in the region of 200. That's got him stumped. That's great bowling. Great bowling from Herman and neat wicket keeping there. And that's the Dolphins' eighth wicket down. 180 now for eight. Now it becomes again the battle to, to bat out the 50 overs. Quicker one. Herman saw him, darted it in, and the keeper did the rest. Oh, he's gone with a reverse lap. What a shot that was. Goes past your total. Yeah. Now, for that, I'll take it any day. <laughs> Never knew that was in the, in the cupboard. 
catch. No. Land safely, but straight to mid wicket, and they've taken two, and he's out by a country mile. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Mr. Stride. You gave us a little bit of entertainment. Some flair there with the reverse lap, but that's you on the way. Oh, he's bowled him. Great bowling from Hardis Kutsia. He's deserved that wicket. His first one for the day. And that's the end of the innings. 196 for nine. Well, all out, sorry. Herman, the Titans captain, averaged like 100 in the competition last year, so he's the man to get out early. Yeah, and also played for the FA, SA Schools Cubs team in uh, 2019. So uh, he's one of the players that uh, was mentioned, and he's one of the players that's got something special, and that shot just proves it. On uh, maybe ne not. That's slashed and might reach the boundary. It does. Four more. Early on, maybe you nip out another one, and all of a sudden, your leg spinners. Oh, that's be pulled beautifully, and it's pulled for maximum. How comfortable was that? I'll tell you what, that is a fantastic shot. I don't think we've seen something quite well timed, have we, in the last three days? It was a stunning pull shot. Didn't try and hit it too hard, and it's gone an absolute mile. Having said that, me and you know, and the side is... Oh, and there's the first wicket. Now there's one for Dyer. You said he's the man that needs to make inroads. And uh, Katimi, why he went down the wicket, I wouldn't know. And in the end, got himself in an awful tangle and stumped. Uh, great uh, breakthrough for the Dolphins and, and really a needed one. Yeah, no reason to come down the wicket at all. Katimi, I think he's done himself there. Almost a nothing sort of shot. And uh, didn't read that one. I don't think he's read many, to be fair. But he's played an important role. He's uh, supported his captain. And we just look at completely squared him up. Just get a few oaks around the bat. You know, just sit in the, sit in the faces of the Titans. Give them something to think about. Have, maybe even have a few words, you know, just uh, that's 50 for Herman. That's uh, the tournament's leading run scorer. He raises his bat for another 50. And that's a lovely shot. That is a very, very good shot. That'll go for four down the wicket. Slightly given some air from uh, Benkenstein. And that's short, and that's going to be pulled away for four. That is a hit me ball. And. Uh, there's, uh, there's no way the Dolphins are going to get back into the game with balls like that. And that's more like it. It hit, some, hit the bench for maximum. Herman flexing his muscles and going all the way. That was something that uh, really got uh, what it deserved. Got smashed with the wind. There's a top edge, should be out, is out. Maxwell, he doesn't add to his score, he's got 17. He's played okay. He's added a few more runs and put it together a partnership with his captain, Herman. Bit unlucky, really. It wasn't the best delivery. Titans now 126 for two. 30 overs gone. Ryan Maxwell goes for 17. Court Hatton, Bold Dyer. Devil Brevis? Yeah, I spoke to uh, Shukri earlier, and he's uh, this is one guy he, he mentioned said he um, he's, uh, he's a lot like A.B. There's a lot of mannerisms that's similar as well. Nice. That, that struck well. Pierce the offside field. Uh, there's upwind. So uh, it might not make it. It does, though. And uh, four, behind, uh, four more behind the name of Brevis. He moves to eight. And the total to 143 for two. He, he does strike it crisply, eh? Yeah, he does. Good ball striker. But I think he did him with uh, with his pace of the ball there. I think. 
And that is your man, Brevis, that you spoke about showing why uh, he's so highly thought of. Uh, just walking across, walking into the line of Crawford and uh, just pop him, popping him over mid on. Oof. Picked up beautifully. Walked down the wicket at him again and uh, Stride decided to pull it back, pull the length back a bit and Brevis, he knew what to do with that. Oh, there we go. called that. There been, we go. Been waiting for that for two days or three days now. And that'll be four again. Short and wide. No one out there. Goes to 92 now. Just eight required. I think he's not giving him anything. <laughs> Still spreading the field. Making him work for every single... Was that it there? Could he have tried to loft that over mid-off? I don't think he's going to take any risks. I think the not outs, 98 not out would be better than 98 out. I think Bevis has given him enough chances now. Just take the one that's on the, on, that's there. I would take the one. This is becoming farcical now. Take the one, get to 97. Bevis can still get a couple of singles. At what point do you, you go to Hammer and say, let's just win the game and let's get off the park? Mm. I think there is a point that that happens. There you go. That's the 100. And that's uh, very, very well played. You can see the elation. It means a lot to him. That's a 100 for Herman. And uh, that's the win for the Titans. They go... And beat the Dolphins. And they're the Titans players. I'll be delighted with uh, the work that they've done today. Thoroughly put the Dolphins to bed down by the seaside in Natal. Really comprehensive victory by the Titans. They look like a team that's that learned their lessons from the defeat to the Cobras yesterday. They'd, they, want, they would have wanted to get back on track, get the campaign back on track. After yesterday, they've come back. And put a really comprehensive performance in. That's an eight-wicket victory. Bonus points collected. And they're ready to go again. <laughs>